Today on Play to Win, college football playoff implications. We're 13 weeks in. There's a lot up in the air still. I feel like the committee's trying to force feed the Big Ten teams out there. You cannot ignore an 11-1 team. The first place Falcons. In NFL circles, when you're four and six, you're not relevant. You're pity. They're not talented, and simply it showed up this year. They are not tough. We'll have injury updates. All you need is a little twisting motion. The thing snaps, and you see this. There's no more black ligament. It is completely torn. Fantasy football. Alshon Jeffrey had 11 catches for 135 and a touchdown last week. I don't see how you can't start him this week. Jeffrey the Ed Schechter picks against the spread. The plane should take the Falcons to Rome because they're getting thrown to the Lions. Welcome to the fastest 30 minutes in football. Welcome to Play to Win with former Falcons All-Pro defensive end Chuck Smith. Fantasy Football League previews with Adam Brown. Game analysis with Nikki Williams. Play to Win expert Jeffrey the Ed Schechter. Medical and injury update with Dr. Andrew Lalaji. And your host, Atlanta sports veteran Bob Neal. Welcome to the show. We're going to talk college football. I want to remind you, Dr. Andrew Lalaji will be along a little bit later with the player medical report. Adam Brown, of course, with fantasy football. But right now, Jeffrey Schechter, Nikki Williams, Chuck Smith, and yours truly going to talk some college football. It is time for our college football showdown of the week. It's Mississippi State at Alabama. If you're going to be the number one quarterback in the country, Dak Prescott, you got to go into the most hostile territory in Tuscaloosa and beat a team that's synonymous with playing great defense. This is the game of the year, and you're right. The quarterback that blinks first may or may not doom their team. Even the smallest mistakes are going to be magnified. Jeffrey, it's time to pick the games. Alabama has struggled with everybody except Texas A&M. LSU outplayed them for 59 minutes and had her an eight-point favorite over Mississippi State. What computer they put that into? Take Mississippi State with the points. Doc, I yep. see C.J. Spiller up here, the Buffalo running back, and isn't he hurt? Yes, uh, C.J. Spiller has a collarbone fracture. This is where the collarbone is located on the athlete. Now, if we x-ray this image, we'll see that this is where the normal clavicle looks like. If you see the nice line and then you see no more bone after that where it's circled, this is exactly what a clavicle fracture, collarbone fracture looks like. Who's hot? by Adam Brown and Fantasy Football, and you like that man from Indianapolis. Andrew Luck is the hottest quarterback in the NFL. Running backs. DeMarco Murray. The Giants are horrible versus the run, giving up 25.2 points per game to opposing running backs. All right, here was a surprising name on your sleepers, and that is Trent Richardson. Trent Richardson's had an awful season, but is now going to carry the load for the Indianapolis Colts running game. All right, Adam Brown, Fantasy Football. Good luck, We'll guys. be back in just a moment. Sandra Golden in her 68 seconds with 680 The Fan says maybe Gurley and Georgia got a break. You are at least getting back fresh legs from a Todd Gurley to play in what looks like the Super Bowl now in Athens for Georgia on the 15th of November against Auburn. Every time the dogs lose, someone raises the question about Mark Rick's future. What is wrong with the Falcons offense? Four and six is no reason to celebrate, but you've got six more games to get it right. So fans, don't lose hope and rise up. Chris Domino, our guest analyst, it's great to get you on the show. And Chris, my question to you, Mr. Say It Like It Is, are the Falcons going to fire Mike Smith? Uh, and what have you done for me lately, World 6-18 and 18 is not doing enough. I think Mike Smith's going to have a really hard time in that exit interview to explain why he should keep the job. Bill Belichick <laughs> said I didn't do anything, and, and uh, Tom Brady said I didn't look at them or touch them or see them. I know nothing. I know absolutely nothing. Bob, there's no video they're going to deny. Deny, deny. Deny gate. Deny gate. Deflatriots. Deflatriots. Some of our emails, by the way, have been saying, let's call him Dr. McDreamy. <laughs> How do you feel about the Dr. McDreamy? Team? I said, look out Grey's Anatomy. Look out Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I'm going with LSU. All right. He would. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst New Orleans Saints defense I've seen since last year. Upset alert. <coughs> Excuse me. Upset alert. I still just love that you called me the youngest sportscaster in history. <laughs> Thank well, you, Bob. You're welcome. He has promised guts and glory, and yes. I'm excited about it as sinister as it sounds. The Falcons <laughs> don't even like fresh air. They can't play well outdoors. No. They don't play well on the road. Like right. Chuck Oliver, I'll admit that I was wrong. You'll admit. But only <laughs> because you rare. threatened to waterboard me. I didn't mean me. to call you out, but I just meant to. I think that's a first for Nikki to admit that she was wrong. Watch this. Okay, ready? Oh, wow. Oh. Hey. Look at that. That's for Nicky right there. That's for Nicky. Good old. Oh, Glory, Glory, Glory. And here we have. Oh, that's the Falcons logo. Oh, 
like that. Excellent job. How about that? Nice. That's From awesome. From Noah Mushroom, you are the man. Oh, that was great job once again by Adam Thank Brown. You. You need to listen to this guy on your <laughs> fantasy football picks. My version of fantasy football is that if the Falcons win seven games, that's a fantasy. Now, Bulldog is a ferocious animal. Mississippi State's ferocious. Georgia, I think there's some poodle in that Bulldog. <laughs> and you don't know who's going to show up, the poodles or the Bulldogs. Northwestern, I watched them play Michigan last week. I had to call the cable operator because I thought my TV was stuck on slow motion. The Falcons defeated Carolina in the zombie bowl last week and got the Walking Dead trophy. I'm not going to insult them or whatever. Take the three with Cleveland. The Walking I Dead Zombie Bowl. Holy Jeffrey. cow. Well, if you drive through Cincinnati and you hear some banging and squeaking, don't get nervous. That's Paul Brown turning over his grave for all the money they've given to Andy Dalton. Let's give a round of applause to Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. Ten and three last week. As 67% of the season picking games. You're unbelievable. Must have been a lucrative week for you. Uh, is that the money? <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little light. Don't go nowhere. Dr. Lalaji, Jeffrey, Nikki, Chuck, Bob. Remember, we'll see you next week, and don't forget to play to win.